on the fridge, let's come with some M. Hey, she say I'm a pimp cause she call through my phone. She see I got hoes, she know what I'm on. Not what I know, I got, I know I got options. I'm on the beat, gotta know I'm gonna dive in. Hey, I'm not what I know. Yeah, I come from the M. Feel like an M by the way I be snapped. Give a fuck about a job, my niggas out trapped. What's up, YouTube? What it do, LHF? I'm Keish, of course, and I'm back with another reaction video today. Hey, this a true crime, right? I just want y'all to know, so so it ain't no sports, it ain't no music. It, it, this right here is true crime. Now, just a couple days ago, we seen that story about the dude that jumped on the judge, or I heard about it. I ain't, say, I ain't gonna say I seen, because we finna watch it now. But I heard about when the dude jumped on the judge, because why would you do that? And I always, whenever I do true crime, it's always... I always ask about the mental state of the of the person committing the crime. Uh, that's always my first question. What was they mental like? Like, what were they thinking at the time? Because what would make you, what would make you do that? Why would you do that? And it's not like, mm, my next, uh, I was going to say something else, but it, it's like, why nobody, had no control over the man. Why he wasn't in, why he wasn't in cuffs or why he wasn't, uh, I, I don't know. Why he wasn't sitting down? If you able to jump over, how, what, how, how did you even get close enough to be able to do that? So before we get into the video, before my questions get answered, make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know every time that I'm posting. Not one time, come on now, y'all know every time. Every time. Man, I don't even know why we playing this game right now. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into the video. Cause I really want to know what the fuck happened. Like, bruh. Oh, 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 oh. Damn! But I, I do think prison is appropriate. I ask the court to impose uh, 19 years. Uh, Mr. Redden, is there anything you want to say on your own behalf before I pronounce it? Um, so basically, I would like to tell the courts everyone here, like, based on my criminal history, like, I feel, I feel that, like, I shouldn't be, like, sent to prison for a second time. Um, Have you looked at your criminal history? Um, Have you looked at your criminal history? I actually just, um, I looked at it. Again. I mean, you lived it, I suppose. Uh, I just looked at it, yeah. Yeah. Three felonies, a gross, nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Damn! Got a lot going on, sir. Yeah, um, Damn! Battery on a protected person, robberies. Attempt home invasion. Go ahead, I'm not going to to interrupt you. I was just... I just figured, like, I'm in a better place in my mind. I'm going to hold my eyes and forces that the reason behind every single domestic violence I've been dealing with mental health, I didn't know that I was dealing with mental health. But that'd be my and biggest thing. Court, and I still didn't know that I had a mental health problem until it was August 2022 when I realized I have a problem with this. And like having a dictionary, and like understanding myself, and know myself a little better, and, and, and applying it to my personality, and, and, and having a pick me at, at that moment, those instances and just like trying to learn from my mistakes, you know. You know, I, I feel like I shouldn't be sent to prison, but if it's appropriate for you, then you have to do what you have to do. But I figure that you know, if I'm in a better place in my life, I'm not doing drugs, I'm not you know, I'm not there committing crimes now, you know, and, and I feel like I should so what are you? Get a shot. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that you get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. Stop it right there. Like I fucking said, I wonder <clears throat> I wonder where a person's mental is because what the fuck was that? 
how did he even get around the table? Did he, he had to push the dude. He had to push the uh, the attorney. He clean pushed him out the way. Because that's the only way I see him running around there. I really need to go find another clip. But that's really like, that's wild thing to do. You are, you're asking for no time to still get time. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'll see y'all in the next video, all right?